Again, it's the long bone and the body. That's probably one of the longest ones, right? So one of the things you're going to have to do mainly is going to make sure the patient does not have any artifacts in the way and make sure that um, the patient um, is going to start shield. And you're going to be uh, placing it very carefully because you don't want to overlap the shield over the joint. And that's one of the biggest repeats that text, um, you know, we, we come across with. So I like to fold it. And what's important here is how you're going to shield for male versus female when you work with the pelvic area, okay? So my first thing I'm going to do for this section is going to involve detenting. Okay? If you're not detent, it doesn't really matter how much light you have over the, the part. If you're not detent, you're still going to quit. So that's one of the biggest things. And again, you're going to be using 40 inches. Does anybody mess with this TV? Like, I don't know why it's not working. Then again, it's going to be aligning. Okay? HDMI 1. And then you have to open the slideshow. It's weird. It won't, it won't uh, project onto the TV. So you may have a 14 by 17 film uh, for me, please. Uh, the seat was on Sorry, three, though. Ready, okay. honey, you was showing it. So the first one I'm going to use is a 14 by 17, and what I'm going to be doing is a, notice where my blocker is, not in the bottom, because the leg is going to go down this way. It's starting on three though, that's weird. So it's going to go up, and it's going to be lengthwise. I'm going to begin with the femur first, then I'm going to move to the hip, and then last the pelvis. Right, Ms. Sherman, that's how you work? Yeah, start with the femur so you can work with hip. You'll already be there. Okay. So. Now, from now on, we're going to be finding our ace, aces. That's going to be a landmark to begin with. And the reason, look, notice how it plays the, the uh, shield. It kind of goes sideways slightly, okay? Now, the thing you have to find here is your aces. And you're going to open up fully 14 by 17, lengthwise. For, uh, it's going to be your 17, okay? And then you're going to collimate to the midline of the body, okay? So I'm going to find my aces, and I'm going to start from there, and I'm going to let it go all the way down to whatever 14, you know, um, 17 left, lengthwise. You see how much I covered right here? So that's my my length, my useful leg. I'm just gonna open up a little bit more to get the midline of the body here, the MSD. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my marker right where my line, my corner ends, right in there. Which side am I gonna use? The left side. Yeah, my right side, correct. So my marker is placed right in there. If you know for sure the patient has no injury or is able to do the leg, then you might ask him to rotate the leg inward just a little bit. You see that? But if you suspect the fracture, do not do that. Because then, you know, most likely the patients are going to let you know, oh, I can't move it. Okay? So see how I place my marker here? Okay, so now my patient is shield. I should be getting my joint included right in here. Here's my aces down all the way the length of the cup. Put my marker as a signal, that's film number one. Then I'm gonna go ahead, expose that, and I'm gonna move down sorry, to include past my knee, and I'm gonna collimate. You have to include the other joint here, which is your knee joint, and you have to go over to the over the patella to make sure you have the joint, okay? Notice how right here it showed that that's where I end my film. See how now my Collimation is a lot smaller because I'm only including from here to here. However, notice what, that I'm overlapping my film, my, my marker. You see this? I didn't move my marker. I'm using that as a guideline to make sure I include or I'm overlapping the area so I don't miss this anything. All right, so that's the AP. Now, in clinic, you might get to see where they begin from the knee up and then they do the small film here. 
they all need to mean the same. When there's fractures involved, you want to use your longest film where the fracture site is, because you want to show the fracture entirely. Keep that in mind that if you see it, if it starts back over here, or vice versa. Okay? It's the same concept. Now we're going to do the side view. So if the patient is healthy, we're just going to bend the knee slightly. May I have? Um, and you're going to be using this sponge right here for comfort. Searching your turn, facing this side. Just the slightly. And I'm going to place it behind it. And I'm going to have the leg completely sideways like that, touching the board. See how there's no space? And I'm going to go back up and do my, sorry, mom. Go back, find my aces. Get my seven by 17 right here. Go back to my aces. There you go. That is for your AP. Make sure you include everything here. Okay. AP lateral. This will be lateral. This will be your lateral. Now, once I'm in here, I'm going to do the distal portion. Okay? Sir, I'm going to have your trunk facing me a little bit more. And I'm going to have the leg come over, kind of like the knee. I'm going to give him that kind of support for the distal. Yeah, I'm just checking to see if I'm on the right slide over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. So see now how you have all this femur visible to you. Now you're going to shield the patient, and you're going to go back to concentrate on the knee portion. <clears throat> See, see the light appear on the gluteus? No light on the gluteus. You see that? No, that's not necessary. And then slightly bend the knee here. And again, find the apex of your patella. Make sure you have enough coverage on you with your combination all the way down. But do not overexpose the patient like that. That's unnecessary. You're just going to get a blank shadow on your image. So make sure your centering is appropriate so when you collimate, you are just there. Remember, you already took a long film on the other side for the AP, for the lateral, with the patient slightly oblique. Remember that? Now you just place your marker here. This is very similar as when you do a knee, except that now you're not concentrating on the knee joint, you're slightly above. Get it? So that's your femur. Any questions? Okay, go ahead, sit and go back.